Here is the Dell GX270 that I'm working on. I've fixed probably about 10,000 of these suckers. And I know just about everything that's going on. i got to open this up. Hang on one second. There's two buttons on the side there. Press both of them, opens up. Usually the problem with a computer out of 10,000 or more that I've fixed or stripped down is that sucker right there, the hard drive. Six out of 10, maybe seven out of 10 problems lie in the hard drive. The next problem, maybe bad RAM, bad power supply or the, uh, the system firmware or the BIOS. Now this is a Dell computer and I don't like Dell computers because I've never really worked with them. However, my plan is this. My game plan is going to be very simple. It's going to be to strip all these parts off. That includes a hard disk, which somebody tried to fix the CD-ROM or DVD-ROM and take this whole motherboard completely off here. Now this power supply it should be a 250 and I'm gonna see which it is no it's only a 160 this is a 160 watt power supply now another problem may be this battery the CR 2032. I have about 20 of those things I got from the dollar store, brand new ones. Other than that, there's really nothing to fixing a computer. Now the BIOS chip is going to be right there. That's the BIOS chip. I can take this out and send it to sell Dell for another one. So that's basically going to be it. There's the main power supply to the motherboard. There's just the uh, DVD drive. There is the uh, the data connector. The IDE. This is for the hard drive. It's an old IDE connector. And here we have the CPU. I'm gonna probably put a bigger CPU on here. Keep this fan, maybe. I have a couple of these already, but uh, I don't like this Dell setup. Um, another thing with the Dell, you can see it's very compact, and uh, you know to access these things very difficult. But they have clips on them that come right out. Other than that, there's nothing to it really. So that's the Dell that I'm working on. We'll see. I'm gonna get a really cool case for it, and uh, I have another. I ordered another motherboard, a Dell. I don't know what kind it is yet. I have to take a look at it when I get it. But uh, I just got a, I got an, another Dell motherboard. So if this is working, which I'll find out in a second, if this is working then uh, I'll keep, go ahead and keep it. If not, then I'll go ahead and uh, build a whole new one out of scratch with the new motherboard that I got. Alright, that's it. That's all there is to it.